What if I told you there's a place where time seems to slow down, where the sea sparkles like diamonds and the sunsets paint the sky in colors you can't even describe? This is Greece. This is where nature whispers to your soul. But don't just take my word for it. Come along with me and see it for yourself. Today we set sail. There's no better way to experience Greece than by boat. We're heading to a hidden paradise, just a small ride from Mykonos, a place where the waters are crystal clear and time stands still. There's an undeniable freedom that comes with being at sea. Surrounded by nothing but nature, the only sounds are the waves against the boat and the laughter of friends. It's like the world outside doesn't exist. This, this is where the magic happens. A paradise-like cove untouched by time. We dive in, swim, and soak up the serenity of this hidden gem. Today, you guys are in for a treat because we are spending the day at sea. This is an experience that I've been wanting to do for two years and every summer that I came to Mykonos, it was booked and it was impossible to do. So let me tell you about it. We are on a sailboat and it's a culinary experience. You basically take it out of Mykonos. You have to charter the boat for the day and you have one of Greek's top chefs cooking for you. His name is Theo. We cruised a little bit until we arrived at this cove where we are at. I am going to show you because it's absolutely like paradise. And he is cooking while I'm here with all my friends. We are jumping in the water. We are snorkeling. We are exploring. We left at noon and we are going to be on the boat until 8 p.m. today so we are going to enjoy the day at sea look who's sitting here next to me you guys that have been on my channel forever you know michelle you remember michelle from when i used to live in new york remember when i used to live in new york and i used to be like how do you guys even take these subways like this is crazy there's no signs anywhere Michelle is in all of my New York vlogs and you guys know that even though she would be in the vlog and never talk. This is really cool because Theo, the chef who owns this boat and he's not just any chef guys, he is known in Greece for being like the top chef. If you guys ever come to Mykonos, you have to, you know, do this experience. So Theo is Michelle's boyfriend. So how lucky am I? This is how we got this booking, to be honest. And Yara is with us from Germany. How was swimming? Good, very yeah. good. What did you guys do? I saw you guys snorkeling. Yes. Is the water cold? No, and we saw some fish. Shut up. Yes. Like really cute fish? When are you snorkeling? I need to get into the water. Simone, how was the water? <laughs> yeah, it was good. Lovely. Yes. Is Great. it cold? Come to Greece. <laughs> right? Isn't this like so cool? This yeah. is this is not like any just any boat day that you normally like charter a boat and you go out and it's like so messy. So nice. This is so nice. He grows his own herbs. Oh my god. 
Que eu dou um chão Fica calma, não tem pressa Tudo vai se resolver Quando eu vi no aeroporto No seu rosto, o desgosto What are these sea urchins? So here are sea urchins that, when did you take them? This morning? You took them this morning. Damn. You died this morning. Always. The chef died, died this morning. And they're like alive, they're moving. That's crazy. <laughs> As if the beauty of this cove wasn't enough, we're treated to an unforgettable meal. Sea urchins, yellowtail ceviche, grilled calamari, and the freshest catch of the day. There's something special about eating food that's this close to the source. It tastes of the sea, of the sun, and of everything that makes Greece so magical. As the sun sets, casting a golden glow over the sea, it's a reminder of why I love to travel. It's moments like this that make you feel alive. Good morning and welcome to paradise. Our home for the next few days is here in Mykonos, where the views are as breathtaking as the sunsets. Let me show you around before we head to breakfast with these scenic morning views. Today for breakfast, I am starting with a grapefruit juice, carrot juice, pineapple and peaches, a cappuccino, a poached egg, two croissants, butter 
and homemade strawberry jam. This is Greek baklava with pistachios. On our way to Scorpios to see Kaine Music. It's the event of the season in Mykonos. I have so many friends that have flown in for this. So we're gonna get there right before sunset so we can see the sunset. We're gonna take the boat to go there and we're gonna have an amazing night. I have so many friends in town for this. This is gonna be so fun. <laughs> After a night of dancing, we needed a day to relax. Today is all about unwinding by the water and this private beach, just savoring fresh fruits, wholesome food, and soaking up the beautiful energy of the Aegean Sea. After a very relaxing and much needed day, massage face masks and naps we are ready for dinner sunset drinks this is what i'm going to be wearing i am wearing a chato ruiz mini skirt chato ruiz came out with this corset this summer and i was like this looks stunning together look at it it's basically a corset so i am just wearing the skirt over it I just happened to be wearing it with a skirt, but if you wanted to wear it with pants or palazzo or a long skirt, it will look beautiful as well. Nude color sandals, little black mini Kelly, and these new Bottega Gabinetta sunglasses that I love so much. Gabby, who received her anniversary flowers. Did you love your flowers? Lovely. Was it a nice surprise? Very nice. Yes, yeah. it was a lovely surprise. Yeah. Ah, Greek island goodness. <laughs> And of course, we couldn't end the day without watching one of the more magnificent sunsets over the pool before heading to dinner at Zuma. Sunset was amazing, but now we are gonna go for dinner. And the good thing is that Zuma is attached to this hotel, so there's this tunnel. I'm just walking down the tunnel. Oh my god, guys, I have to show you this. Oh.
today I want to take you with me through a stroll through Mykonos town. Walking through these cobblestone streets that are all painted in white feels like you're walking in a dream. And you might think that shopping here is only for small touristic items. No, you can have every luxury brand you can think of is sold in town. Louis Vuitton, Chanel, Bottega Veneta, Alaya, you name it, it's all here. Audemars Piguet. So during the day, typically it's too hot to be walking in town. But it's a perfect opportunity if you want to just enjoy the peace and the quiet of the town during the day. Because at night, this town lives up and it's full of people. Everybody's shopping. The temperatures drop. It cools down. And honestly, it's such a vibe. <laughs> We're going to stop at my favorite little market where I know they have fresh Greek figs. These are the best tasting figs in the world. I even made a special stop to pick up sea corals for my house in Miami. This is something I've always wanted to have authentic corals from the Greek sea. I'm getting ready for dinner. I have to go to dinner with Gabby. So I'm going to sit here and I'm going to do my makeup. Sunset is my favorite time of the day. I live for the sunset. I am a sunset chaser. Anywhere I go, the first thing I always look before even going to that destination if it's if it has beautiful sunsets. And this spot I'm in in Mykonos has one of the best sunset views. After a relaxing day, I'm getting ready for another dinner. <laughs> this time it is at Sea Satin, where we'll be dining right by the water. The fresh fish here is just incredible. glasses from Bottega. Today I honestly didn't have anything to wear so I just took my white dress shirt and put on this new swimsuit that we got in Ibiza from Osere. We're going for lunch now. It's called Alemagu. It's so beautiful. So we came today here for lunch. This place has an amazing sunset so if you come to um, Mykonos and you want to have a really nice sunset place here the sunset is insane.
That was a great lunch. Now we are gonna head to the hotel. We have 30 minutes to get changed. We have changed after lunch and now we are getting ready to go to Scorpio's. Bedouin is playing tonight. The boat is waiting for us downstairs. The boat is basically gonna take us from the hotel to Scorpio's because to drive there in the car takes one hour with traffic it's actually very close but the traffic is so bad and we don't want any traffic we just want to get in see the sunset and just have a wonderful night let's go Sit in the chairs back here. In the chairs. Wherever there's the last wind. We made it! This is probably my favorite time of the day to go to breakfast. We have changed hotels. This one is gorgeous. It is called Santa Marina, and this hotel is considered to be the best hotel in all of Mykonos. And I can tell you something, we got here already uh, yesterday. This place, it is so elegant and beautiful. I don't think that I will ever want to stay in another hotel when I come to Mykonos. It has villas, so these are villas, and it also has private bedrooms, suites. I mean, the place is the only hotel in all of Mykonos with its own private beach. And it's just the service, incredible. It is pricey, I'm not going to lie about that. It's pricey, but it's worth every single penny. Especially if you're one of those people that is, look at the beach, this private beach. I'll take you down there after. Look at how beautiful the architecture is.
I just noticed how they write Kalimera on the coffee. This means good morning in Greek. This is so beautiful. I'm telling you the attention to detail and everything in here is crazy. This is what the room looks like inside the Santa Marina. I love it. It feels like you are in a villa or like inside a boat. Then we have this outside sitting area with this a glorious view. Down there you can see the beach. This whole trip has been perfectly planned down to the last detail thanks to my friend Michelle and her amazing luxury concierge service in Mykonos. She truly knows how to make Mykonos feel like home. Whether it's a magical boat day, exclusive reservations, or those hidden gems and those private chef's tables that you won't find on your own. One of the best parts of this trip has been access to incredible places, incredible parties, all thanks to Michelle's connections and not having to worry about anything. If you're planning a trip to Mykonos, I can't recommend her enough. She makes sure that every detail is pure perfection, so all you have to do is just enjoy. Wow, this is so beautiful. And that's a wrap for part one of my summer trip in Greece. There is so much more to come and I can't wait to share it all with you. Here we have some stuffed tomatoes, stuffed with rice and herbs. This is my favorite dish in the planet. Wow, this is so good. If you loved the sunsets, the food, and the magic of Greece as much as I did, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss part two. See you soon.